you can imagine every parent's worst nightmare, a healthy kid one minute and the next minute a giant brain tumor in the center of his brain. A diagnosis of a brain tumor is a life-changing event for the patient and the family. And a lot of times the kids can actually help their parents get through a difficult time like this. Well, I remember I had a brain tumor. What? No, no, it's fine. I remember I had a brain tumor. And I remember that they had to get all the fluid out before it didn't grow back. Do you remember anything from the hospital? They had a playroom there, and then they had this one other on the ninth floor that was really big. Here they are. There we go. There oh, we go. Yeah. Do you want to put this one next to him? Okay. Not to he was um, growth hormone deficient, so we went for an MRI to get him started on the growth hormones because you have to check, get the pituitary gland checked prior. The doctor came in, and the nurses came in, and they were just like, "There's a massive." like tumor in your son's brain. That night we went to Hopkins, they admitted us, we stayed the night, um, and then that morning he went in for surgery. We looked at the films and agreed. We thought it was likely a craniopharyngioma, a benign tumor in a malignant place. We had a whole team that came by where we used endoscope-assisted microsurgery. It was such a big tumor. And so what we did is we did an endoscopic approach, a small tube coming from the top of the brain, and we opened it up and drained the fluid and took out the top part of the tumor to relax the brain. And then we did a microsurgical approach, lifting up the brain underneath. So we didn't have to go through the brain, but we worked underneath the brain under high power of the operating microscope to peel the tumor off these important structures at the base of the brain. They were saying that some kids will go into a coma for a little while or um, just not be themselves when they wake up. So it was, you know, all day it was just like, we're going to lose our Declan. It was just like, we didn't know. And um, they came out after the surgery and they were like, he's awake and he did really good. He just woke up. You know, most kids wake up screaming and he just was like, hi. They said that he said he was thirsty. So they gave him a little like <laughs> sponge on a stick and he was like, I want real water. And when they told us that, we were like, oh, he is fine. Like he is Declan all the way. And we went in and the first thing he said to me, he's like, you were right, I didn't feel it. You know, we played music when, when you were asleep in the operating room. I didn't know. Yeah, we played some Elvis Presley. You probably don't even know who that is. Ooh. You know Elvis. I didn't even hear that. No, you were <laughs> fast asleep. In some of the difficult operations, we bring Elvis into the OR and play some of his music. It helps us get through some of the uh, tense moments in the OR. We call this uh, pediatric neurosurgery or Graceland East at Johns Hopkins Hospital. When I found out he was an Elvis impersonator, <laughs> I looked it. I looked it up immediately and found this like amazing picture of him singing with like all these rings on and yeah. the glasses. And I was just like, this is my favorite guy now. He told you that they were playing Elvis in your. Uh, during your surgery. Yeah. I think we're good to up like him. <laughs> Do you think he dressed up like him while he did surgery? Yeah. Probably. That would yeah? be pretty, would be pretty funny. Wow. There is a healing power of humor. You can't take yourself too seriously, and kids won't let you take yourself too seriously. And um, so it's good to have a, a mind like a five year old, and we can all recover from this together. You know what I'm going to be when I grow up? What? Rock star. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be in a band. Really? Thank you. What do you play? Figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a singer myself. If you want to get together, let me know. Maybe I could be in your okay. band, right? What? What are you pecking me for? I'm not food. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Where are you headed out? That's a big chip. Look how big it is. For the most part, his spirits are. Yeah, good I mean, he's. He doesn't seem to dwell on it. He didn't really complain. He took it a lot better than we did. Yeah. I think Declan helped all of us get through this and it's just amazing how well he's done and, and this is why we do what we do. This is the joy of uh, being a pediatric neurosurgeon.